Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. There is yet another major turning point in the terrifying tale of Belle Dingle's abuse at the hands of her evil husband, Tom King, which continues to horrify and enthrall Emmerdale viewers. After their wedding, Tom's terrifying levels of control over Belle caused her marriage and life to soon collapse. In addition to gaslighting her, snooping on her, and separating her from her family, Tom continued to abuse her coercively and even used violence. Fans had been hoping Belle may break free from her husband's control since she decided to end her pregnancy. This is especially because family members like Charity, Emma Atkins, have sensed that something is really wrong. Tom plans to completely remove Belle from the town as a result of her loved one's intervention, and there will be genuine concern that she might not come back. What is promised to her as a quick getaway quickly turns into hell when he does take her to a secluded home in Wales. Will Belle see her family again? And what plans does Tom have in the upcoming weeks? Emmerdale will have a special episode featuring it as the centerpiece. Producer Sophie Roper has provided details to Metro.co.uk. Bill and Tom is undoubtedly a major plot point for us right now. At times, it's a very challenging plot point to watch. Our audience is responding to it because it's such a significant and genuine problem. We're carrying on with that narrative and making a real effort to be sincere in those kinds of connections. In an upcoming special episode, Tom and Belle will take a vacation together to Wales. Tom is isolating Belle from her family, her environment, and everything she knows and loves, which is regrettably a common characteristic of abusers. It will be challenging drama at times, but we're eager to keep telling this story and sending out this important message. So, did Emberdale really take advantage of this unique chance to film a location across the border in Wales? The design team has been working extra hours, which is, according to Sophie, the next best thing. In reality, our amazing design team in Yorkshire replicated Wales. We have renovated a cottage in the village, creating a stunning Welsh hideaway. The extent to which they have gone to create that in our world is truly amazing. Of course, despite having this lovely cottage as its backdrop, the story will occasionally be quite challenging and brutal. Although the writing and performances have received high appreciation, the plotline still divides fans, making it an understandably challenging watch. The cottage episode will represent a significant climax in the story, but don't anticipate it to stop there. We stated from the start that we wanted to present this tale as truly and openly as we can. Sophie's co-worker, Laura Shaw, previously told Metro.co.uk. We wanted to be honest about the fact that for those who are victims of domestic abuse, the abuse does not end after a few weeks. It is a long-lasting issue. If I'm being really honest, I believe we've always known exactly where we wanted it to finish. We've undoubtedly encountered new turns and twists along the way, but we've always had a fairly clear idea of where it would end in our minds. A revenge for his evil alter ego Tom was also hinted at by actor James Chase, who continued, saying, he is unable to get away with it. She needs justice for what has happened to her, so I'm not sure how much of that would be or how the plot would conclude but I would assume it would have to be something along those lines. For all the suffering we've watched Belle go through, the audience must ultimately see her triumph or at the absolute least, see him fail. You can push something incredibly far if you know where it will stop. The antagonist Tom is now being exposed for the abusive person he is and the character is fully on to him. For months, Tom has been using coercion to dominate his wife, Belle Dingle. He has kept her apart from her family, run her life, and manipulated her. In a recent episode, things took a nasty turn, and Belle's plot to escape Tom backfired 
revealing his identity to him. She is under Tom's authority, and he has kept her cut off from Charity and her own family. However, Charity is desperate to find out what's going on because she senses something is wrong. She is aware that Tom isn't who everyone believes him to be and that Bell is hiding something. Charity's efforts to persuade others that Bell might be in danger have not been entirely successful, but Bell has made up her mind about Tom. However, Bell snapped at her and wouldn't talk to her before informing Tom what Charity had been saying. Thus, things did not go as planned. A menacing moment later, Charity was left with Tom and Patty Kirk by Bell, who ran off. He yelled at her to leave Bell alone, saying that Bell was having difficulties while she pledged to talk to Bell. He gave Charity a menacing glare and a warning to stay away before turning away. From their conversation, it was obvious that she was aware of what was happening and that he now saw her as a threat. Once back in the house, Belle scolded Charity in front of her husband and declined to answer her phone. As she turned to go, Tom appeared pleased to have strained a rift between them after she informed him that Charity had been disparaging him to her and the other women. At that point, he appeared determined to get Belle and her family out of the village as quickly as possible. Does Charity feel like a threat to him? And may this put her in danger? It's obvious he needs to stop her from exposing him based on how he was with her and the look he gave her during their brief altercation. May Charity be seriously in danger? And may Tom end up snapping at her like he did Vinny Dingle a few months ago? Since her debut in 1989, Claire King has been playing the infamously slyke Kim in the ITV drama. Viewers were quickly captivated by Kim's fiery antics and entanglements, and she established herself as a main character in the renowned town. After leaving a lasting impression, Kim announced her departure from the show in 1999, only to make a stunning return two decades later. It goes without saying that Kim has been at the center of some of the most memorable plots in the history of the soap opera. Furthermore, Kim's love adventures on film have definitely raised both eyebrows and thermometers. Claire King's depictions have never shied away from spicy plot lines, whether it was starting an affair with the much younger David Glover or having a passionate kiss with Nick Tilsley from Coronation Street. However, supporters are already preparing for the possibility that their cherished Kim would eventually disappear from Emerald screens. According to The Mirror, Followers are speculating about her possible goodbye on Reddit, where conversations are lively. On the social media site, one particular fan wondered, how do you think they would kill off the iconic Kim Tate when the time comes? Will it be a murder slash quadrunit, an explosive fire slash scent, or a medical emergency? The same fan also offered their own interpretation of Kim's exit. I would personally love to see an illness narrative for her because Claire King is such a talented actress. Perhaps Kim finds out in secret and withholds it from her family for a while. And up to the day she passes out in the pasture while riding one of her horses, she only tells her closest friends, Lydia and Mary. And when Lydia tells Will what's been going on, they start looking for her and it's only a matter of time until things go south. I'm not sure which disease I would pick, although I would prefer something progressive, something along the lines of Coronation Street's and the plot. With their own forecasts, more aficionados entered the discussion. A fan conjectured, suicide via murder. She has promised that she will quit her acting career when Emmerdale concludes, so she needs to go out with a BLEZ of glory. Another expressed their feelings, Unfortunately, age is against us all. I think I will be illness if anything that ends her. Just please give us as many years possible first and don't let it be rushed. The conversation comes after it was announced that actress Claire King will be interacting with fans at a future soap opera event. Claire will talk about her experiences on the hit ITV drama Emmerdale when she makes an appearance at the first ever live audience with event. Kim Tate has been and remains an incredible part of my life. 
The chance to play such a powerful, if not tricky, character is a gift for any actor and I feel very lucky to do so. Claire King said of the event, which is scheduled to take place at the Wheatwood Hotel in Leeds. To be honest, I kind of like her and am forward to see what she does next. It's wonderful to have the opportunity to interact with the fans of the show in person for such a unique occasion in our home county of Yorkshire. Thanks for watching if you liked this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.